All right, here we are back again with another Illustrator tutorial. Again, this is a tutorial intended for my students, but we're going to, applying a texture to a gradient using a mask is what we're gonna do. And we're gonna do it with um, making a little like flower pot, flower, simple flower, flower pot as our example of how to do it. So first things we wanna do is open a new file. I'm just gonna use just the normal letter, eight and a half by 11. And before we get started on making this, we want to have a few windows available to us. So let's go to this windows. Let's go to transparency and it pops out. Let's grab it and drag it. So it stays on our, um, desktop. It doesn't, it's not going to go anywhere when we change windows and stuff. So now it's, it's right there for us to see transparency Same. let's do that again, window, and we'll go to gradient, gradient, drag this and put it on our workspace. So these will just stay here now. Um, once you understand how this works and where these panels are, you can change them as you're liking. But for this tutorial, let's leave them out like this. All right, what we're gonna do now is create a the pieces we need for our flower pot. So the first thing we'll do is go ahead and grab our rectangle tool, our rectangle tool. Let's make um, a small-ish rectangle in the bottom. Let's fill it in with, I don't know, I'm gonna fill it in with like a brownish kind of color because we, um, it's gonna be our flower pot. Let's get a brownish kind of color and we want it light at first. We want to light colors at first. So do that. I'm gonna get rid of the stroke. We don't need the stroke in this case. So I'm gonna get rid of the stroke. This is going to be our flower pot. So let's change the bottom a little bit. Let's grab our direct select tool and grab each corner. Remember to tap select off before you grab the corner. We'll move this in just to kind of make it a look a little bit more like a flower pot. Kind of vibes like that. Okay, we got one item here. That's our flower pot. Let's move it to the side. Um, let's do another rectangle shape. Maybe a long, this will be our stem for our flower. So make a long rectangle like that. Let's again, change our colors. I'm gonna go to like a light green color. That'll work. Okay, got a light green stem. That's cool. That can move over to the side. Now we're gonna make our a leaf shape. So let's go to our tool, our you know shape tools, and go to the ellipse tool this time. We'll make an ellipse. Make it kind of longish like this. Let's zoom in on this one just for a second. We're we're gonna zoom in on it like this. And in this case, we wanna maybe make it more leaf like. So maybe if we make the ends a little pointy, that'll work. So we go to our direct select tool again, and find the end and with the handles that come out, we'll grab one of the handles and kind of bring it in toward the body of the ellipse. And then we want to do it with the other handle, but we need to break the handle. So we want to hold the option key as we grab the handle and it breaks the handles. So now they work independently. So that has happened on one side. Now we're going to do that same thing on the other side, grab one handle, bring it in like that, hold the option key, break the handle, bring it in like that. And that's good enough. That's good enough. That's kind of our leaf shape now. I'm gonna zoom back out. So now we got a leaf shape that we'll use in a little bit. And then in this case, we're not gonna get super detailed with the flower head. So we're just gonna make it like a circle. It's just gonna be a pure straight circle. I'm gonna hold shift. This is gonna be our flower head. It's a circle. We can, you can add more details as you, want to, but for now, just to keep it simple, it's gonna be a circle and I'm gonna make it kind of a yellow color. So a yellow circled flower head. So now we have our, all our shapes ready to go. Um, pause it if you need to catch up, but now that, and once you get caught up, let's continue. So let's start with the flower pot. I'm gonna bring it into our workspace here. Um, doesn't really matter where right now. So let's zoom in a little bit on the flower pot. So we have the flower pot. Now we wanna make a copy of this. So command C, command V. We've uh, made a duplicate of it on the flower pot, so it's there. But on this top one, we want to make it a little bit darker. So I'm just gonna go make it slightly darker. So now it's a little bit darker. Now we wanna create the gradient on the flower pot, the textured gradient. So what we're gonna do with the top, with it selected like this, still selected, we're gonna go over to our transparency panel here and go make mask. We're gonna select the right square and we're gonna uncheck the clip. So it turns into a white box right there. 
we're going to go to our rectangle tool again and then we're going to drag a rectangle around that whole flower pot area so now that's the 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 mask essentially is being created but we want to change this into a gradient so i already have my black and white gradient armed but it's probably a default gradient for you as well. So make sure you got your black and white gradient armed, select it, it changes that white rectangle up from the top. So that's done. So now with it still selected, we go up to effect and go to texture and we go and we find the grain texture. And I've already made these manipulated to my liking, but it might not be this way for you. So I like to fit to view so I can see it. Um, that doesn't, that's not important though, but we want it, um, we're under the grain texture our intensity we want around 49 or so our contrast we want around 18 or so and this one's important this stippled we want to change this to stippled so then we hit okay and now it's created a grain on um our our gradient we have this like grainy texture on our gradient and we can manipulate that a little bit more if we select the gradient tool on the left toolbox column it brings up this view and then we can go in here and change kind of some elements of our gradient um, the the angle of it just different things we can move it around how we like and because we have this mass going on it's only affecting the area of the gradient so once we got it like we like we want to go back up to our transparency panel and click back over to our normal view I guess is what it is um, click back over to the normal view and then we got that set like we want right now on my computer it it doesn't um it's like not processing fully so what i've found to do to get it to process fully is if i um grab this whole area and i do i kind of just mess with it for a second and then i just command z back to normal but um you can you just realize that your computer might be doing the same thing where it's not processing fully for a second okay so now that that's done <clears throat> we still are it's it's actually still two layers right now so we have the gradient layer and our background layer and we want to make sure that these don't get moved while we're messing with our you know project so if we you know select both layers and then right click and go um, group so now our flower pot's going to stay together all right we're gonna repeat this process one, two, three more times. So let's move our flower pot out of the way, grab our stem and do the same thing again. Um, we're gonna go highlight it, command C, command V, uh, make sure it's layered right on top of it. So, and then with that top layer, we're gonna make it a little bit darker and then we're gonna do that same process. With that, hot, that top layer selected, make mask, select the right box, check clip, Go back to our rectangle tool, cover that whole area, and then select our gradient. That's done. Go up to effect, go to texture, go to green. Settings should already be set how we like them, so hit OK. And again, if you want to manipulate it, you can. I'm not going to in this case. I'm just going to leave it as is so we can move on. I'm going to go ahead and select them. Um, so now that that's done, make sure we go back to our normal view as well. And I'm going to select it all again, right click and group them so now our stems set move that to the side do the same thing with our leaf let's move that in here um, command c command v let's go layer it back right on top let's zoom in on here a little bit uh, let's change that top layer to a bit darker all right make mask select the right box select clip um, do a rectangle tool again cover it up go do our select our gradient select uh, effect texture grain and then it's already set how we like it so we hit ok again you can manipulate the grain as you like if you want to change the angle change the depth change different features of it feel free to do that um, all right I'm gonna zoom out a little bit I'm gonna go back to normal view I'm gonna go my selection tool make sure both layers are selected and then group those as well grouped negative all right go back over here last one is our flower head <clears throat> again copy v command command c command v layer them make sure they're layered on top of each other make this a little bit darker i'm gonna i'm gonna go with yeah let's go with like a little bit darker color like that 
Again, make mask, select the right square, check the clip, go to rectangular tool, cover it up, select our gradient again, go to effect, texture, grain. It's already set how we like it, hit okay. I'm gonna zoom in just a hair here. Again, if we wanna manipulate the gradient, we can, I'm just gonna leave it. And again, go back to normal view here by selecting the left square on the transparency panel, making sure we highlight both layers again, right click group, and group. All right, now we have our, our gradient, textured gradient um, on all our <clears throat> objects that we're gonna assemble our flower pot with. So let's grab the flower pot, put it on the bottom, um, zoom in just a hair here, and then grab our stem. In this case, the stem is actually uh, on top of the flower pot. So right click on the stem, go to arrange, go to bring, send to back. So now it's behind, we can adjust it how we like. So grab one of our leaves, and then we probably, maybe we wanna make a second leaf. So holding option, drag and copy. And then depending on how you might like it, um, arrange your leaves on your stem. I'm gonna put mine kind of like this. Um, maybe one of them will be a little bit smaller than the other one. It looks good, I don't know. And then our flower head, and since we arranged the stem to the back, that'll be fine. So now we have our flower with a gradient, textured gradient mask on each of the objects and that's how you do that all right thanks for watching <laughs> have a good one peace